Welcome back to BG3. So let's check this eastern tunnel over here. First of all, let's heal up. Hmm. Not sure what's outside. I can't waste any more time. He's got a few spell slots left. a little better. I can be subtle sometimes. Taking my time in the shadows. Where the hell are those guys going? Oh. Going the long way round. Okay. I can't waste what? any more time. Now, where does this go? Doesn't really say. Let's try it out. saw those. Did he fail his? So he can't see him? Saw those then. Keeping low. Keep your blade close. Wow. want to walk past those I guess very carefully should have worn better boots no. 
you can't open these, right? This is the this is the one we couldn't open. Yeah. So this is probably unlockable. I mean, un unpickable. All right, let's go back. Let's see where this takes us. These tracks, that might be worth a look. Goblins? Hmm, we're actually right outside where I was when I tried to find the Harper's Cash. Let's see, which way would we go? I want to check on Kaga here. But I think we want to do this first, though, right? Check on the Blade of Frontiers. Hunt down Carlock. to go in and out of here just real quick just to make sure this is on the map I guess So I remember the uh, the cave inside that we went to to talk to Zevlor comes around and allows us to go here without going down here. But do we want to do that? I'm not sure. What I'm pretty sure I do want to do, though, is go back to camp. And 
and take a break. A long rest, I should say. All right, first of all, I'm going to uh, talk to everyone and see if uh, see if they have anything to say before I take the long rest. Speak. Is it me, or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. I thought you cruel, stubborn, and judgmental. Yes. All that is true. I am cold as the sea of night. But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've <laughs> gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Okay, I'm not trying to, uh... Oof. I have just one word, yuck. That's what I want to say. If you respect me so much, then why are you such a prickly grouch? If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, and my body steel. I am what I must be, say what I must be, to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Bah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later. 
But I want it all the same. Do you? I'm flattered, but the answer is no. Your loss, I fear. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Okay. Want to be careful there. That did not look like a romance option. <laughs> not to me, at least. But perhaps I should have been a bit more... Uh, Okay, maybe those options that don't come up as exclamation points can lead to romance, and I'm really not looking to romance anybody. So let's just look around here to make sure nobody has anything important to say. And then we'll just initiate the long rest here. I don't have enough camp supplies. How is that possible? Does this thing bug out or something? No, 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 no. There appears to be plenty of camp supplies. I might even have some on me. Oh, no. No, oh, I got food. Maybe not enough, but... I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to save first. Just in case. Taking a long rest now will restore your hit points and spell slots up to half their maximum and you won't regain any short rests. So everybody's got something to say except Gale here. Right, let's start back here with Lazel. Try to avoid any romance options with her. I was hungry to face my first gaich. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. It must be quite a shock. To leave your crush behind and arrive here? Do you think me so sheltered? My entire clutch battled beholders deep within the eye of the sky. We infiltrated a Niyogi spell jammer and laid waste to its crew. The tears span Toril Sky Venisk. There is more to this realm than this grassy pebble. 
But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Hmm. Guess that's not what you wanted to hear. Pfft. Bitch. Stare him, my boy. What's up? You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Doesn't have to be. We can still travel together. Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. <laughs> You're too close. I have many talents if you want to explore them. True, I am pretty impressive. <laughs> Aren't you just? Are you feeling all right? Hmm? Oh. Um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Hmm. I'm nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. It's natural to suffer a touch of worry. But an Alithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. Before the Alithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Hmm. It makes no sense, I know. Why haven't we turned? Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Shadow Heart. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. You know. <laughs> Let's 
could be our last night together. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? We could find somewhere discreet right now, away from the camp. <laughs> Perhaps we should wait for more comfortable surrounds. Besides, I can't afford to tie you out. We still have work to do. Rest well. Well, sounds like she shut me down. Shut down. Old man Withers here. Of course, these guys should have nothing to say. We'll check in with Gail just in case. Go ahead. I'm listening. I was wondering, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. All right, let's leave him for now. I'm pretty sure the journal said he didn't need anything yet. And what about this thing? I did try to open this thing once, but it... See, where's it at? A curious ornate box. Its many sides are engraved with indecipherable glyphs. we get here no openings you can see yet you sense something inside it I've seen markings like these ancient githyanki inscriptions whatever this box it's significant Let's, let's try to force it open. I just want to see what happens here. I'm sure we can't open it. The box doesn't yield. Right. Those runes. This object must hold great power. It will not yield to our hands alone. She said it's Githyanki in nature. If I try to drop it, I'm assuming it won't because it's bound to me. Yeah. And don't try that again, it says. Thyflaketh, we may not forsake it, nor it us. Well, that's it. That's that. Uh, 
Well, let's see here. I'll get another quick save in. And then we're gonna take a long rest. Plenty of food here. We'll just use a couple of these. Split the stack. Take two of tw uh, 66. And where did they go? Where did they go? Let's see if we split them up now. What's this about? Let's see what's going on over here. a lot of food in here but what is that what is that doing let's, let's try that Fuck it. I don't know what's going on with this stupid ass game sometimes It's like two of them just disappeared. Uh, whatever. Full rest. Here we go. I'm going to take Will, I think. Let's see. Who am I going to take with me? Probably take Kurz, Will, and Shadowheart, maybe. To go and find, uh, find Carlock. Let's have, uh, let's have a staring sit, sit out. Need something? Darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please, just stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Darren had too much on her. Should kind of check these guys as. Yeah, I gotta fix her stuff up. 
want to make sure. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this video here because I got to do some inventory management and I'll do that off camera because that's that takes me a while with these PS5 controls. I'm not going to sit here and waste your guys' time with that. So, this has been another episode of uh, BG3. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.